Guys, what's up? This is Wizard of Wellington and today we're on a Fireblade 900 Turbo. Today we're strapped into uh, something with a Subaru TD-04 attached to it. Um, all home built by Daniel. All custom made, custom fabricated. Everything's legit. We've got a front end from a ZX-10 on the front and then we have a GSXR1000 rear end as well and so we're going to be looking at three things speed, grin factor and how it rides so when does the boost come on? it comes on at 6000 so pretty high up in the rev range and Daniel said I'm gonna to have to be pretty ballsy when I'm riding this thing to get that sort of blow off valve. So I'm just gonna give it a bit quick flat here. See if we get a bit. I'm hoping you can hear that, because that sounds really good. Fucking hell, that is cool. So straight away I can tell you that that thing is absolutely rapid. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is giving me the shakes. Oh what a noise. That sound is amazing. Oh my god, that is... I feel like a 15 year old kid. So speed is pretty rapid. I'll give, this, I'll give speed a thumbs up for sure. Rideability, it feels very good. The brakes are excellent. Breaks really well, which is quite good considering how much ability it has in terms of pace. It goes around corners real nimbly. Definitely feels old, but it's very nice. It's sort of not too twitchy. Maybe a little bouncy, but considering the road we're on, that kind of makes sense. How comfy is it? Well, it is a sports bike, but I'm actually liking how it feels right now. Jesus. Fuck, it sounds good, man. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm definitely liking how this thing feels. Super stable. <laughs> Fuck, it sounds good, man. That induction noise is nuts. I think Daniel's done bloody well with the suspension. When you're under load, it feels, the front feels planted and solid. Oh, and it just stops so well. I'm really impressed by these brakes. Woo! So this thing's equipped with a quick shifter. Um, basically homemade so it's not an off-the-shelf one but it shifts up into gears very nicely just full power don't even have to gas off whoa listen to that I don't know if 
I'm grinning or freaking out. A bit of both, I feel. This thing is just insanely rapid. Fucking hell. It's just great. I don't know. It's just the, the noise itself is almost what makes it so good. Like, is there any other more satisfying noise than a turbo blow off hour? I don't know. Some would probably argue, I don't know, a super challenger sounds sick, but I mean, this is just dope. Let's be honest. It's just good. It's just good. And the power is, the power is usable. It feels, it comes on quite hard, but like it is linear. It doesn't feel too, too strokey. And it gives you the power there when you want it, but it does, it's not there 24 seven. Like you can just ride it pretty, like even now I'm just sort of caught, caught a throttling. It's giving me enough. The turbo's pulling to give me a little, juice around the corner I mean it's, it's just a good package I mean who wouldn't want to own a, a turbo bike <sighs> intense man I was reflecting on how to describe what this bike was like to ride, and I was struggling with words, so I decided that I would write a haiku instead. Fast bike, made faster. I'm going to shit myself. Blower valves are sick. Now, if I get a bit philosophical on it, I, I sort of think this bike is almost a replica of Daniel himself. Okay, and you'll, you'll meet Daniel when we release the video that, that sort of talks about the bike build. The bike's pretty rough. You know, it's, it's sort of been like Frankenstein together with a whole bunch of different parts. Um, you know, it's all like custom welding, which looks fantastic. But you know, it's sort of built in a garage and it's a little rough around the edges, but fuck, it just goes so well. Um, and that's what I really like about it. Now, you might be asking yourself, I want a turbo motorcycle. You know, I want a bit of vroom vroom pch when I'm changing some, some fucking gears. So, would you buy a Kawasaki H2 or would you custom build something I would custom build something after riding this bike um, it's just it's just more raw you know it's more fun it's it's got a bit of character it's got a bit of a story behind it I think when you just buy something off the shelf it's just not the same you know this has got like time and energy put into it and it's super unique <laughs> It just feels raw compared to these modern sports bikes. They're too refined. They're too smooth. They're too, you know, they've just got to the point where the engineering's taken all the fun out of them. But this thing provides a proper rider's experience, which is why we ride bikes. If a bike's fun, then it's a good bike in my eyes. So how would I rate this bike? Well, my Winston Wellington approved rating is forced induction is sick out of 10. So guys, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Unique Between the Legs. We had a great time filming it. We're gonna be bringing a lot of unique bikes your way. V8 motorcycles, two strokes. We've got a scooter with a 350 two stroke Kawasaki engine in it. We've got all, all sorts of crazy shit on the way. So, and guys, if you wanna learn a bit more about the bike itself, we did an interview with Daniel where we talk about what turbos he used, um, tips for young players who are thinking about building a turbo bike themselves and so make sure you hit subscribe hit the bell so that you'll see that video when it pops up in the next couple weeks thanks guys for listening 
I'm so stoked to be making content again. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.